Hey, my name is Philip. Welcome to the channel. If you feel like you plateau, this video is right for you. Today, we're gonna go over a system to increase your weekly miles. This morning, we're about to run 10 miles with my friend Daniel. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Something different I've never done before. I think I'm ready. Test your limits a little bit. I know myself, if, if for whatever reason I can't handle the run, I'll pull back a little bit. I'm excited to get out the jitters. 10 miles, that's, that's more than a 15K. All in all, I just had two cups of coffee, turkey sandwich with three boiled eggs. Usually I have oatmeal, but I woke up this morning and found out that we had no more left. Things don't always go as planned, but it's actually good though, because you gotta find out what breakfast works for you, for your stomach. Hopefully things be all right. We'll see. You have to have a system. One, good night's sleep. Two, get that bowel movement going, drinking coffee. Two, having a good breakfast so you have enough nutrition inside of you so when you go running you're not burnt out number four um, running with someone like try to find someone just a little bit faster to push you where you need to go because you want to get better right and i believe you know as a christian iron sharpens iron right so you need to find a buddy to run with because it gets boring when you run alone when you run with other people, it's more exciting. Oh, it's pretty chilly out here today. You been, man? Good, good. You How good? about yourself? Good. Where, where do you live? In the uh, humble. Humble? Yeah, bro. You run with music or no? Normally I do. So how do you help me warm up? Oh, I kind of warmed up at home a little bit. I stretch. I stretch. Okay. Dude, I just start slow. Start slow, go slow all the way. <laughs> I walk my dog here. I used to walk my dog here a lot. Luke, that I normally run, is going to be. 1.7 mile. Why am I breathing hard already? What? Well, which race you got first? Okay. A 15 k And I'll do the half. Dude, it's all about just getting, getting the legs, uh, getting them used to running. Yeah. Is this a good pace for you? I've never ran 10 miles before, so I wouldn't know my pace. <laughs> Normally walk when I warm up. <laughs> you normally walk? Oh, dude, you should told me. Sorry, dude. Like I said, I'm just gonna go. Just gonna go at your pace. <laughs> it's the dark part. And then, actually, probably from the whole food starting that loop is gonna be like two miles. Morning. Start or is this just here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, bro. <laughs> it doesn't tax my heart. If I go like 11, that's going to be like tax. Yeah, I need to, I need to do a proper warm up or whatever. But okay. if I do between 12 and 13, I can building that base. <laughs> Been to Cambodia. I've been there. <laughs> many, many, many. But where have I been? I've been to Singapore. We did a bus ride into Malaysia, Korea, Taiwan, but never been to Cambodia. Sure. Imagine it's going to be a lot of similarities, right? That beach is there? Yeah, in Cineville. So what got you into running? I actually started running, but I stopped. Okay. Maybe like, I ran maybe like six or seven years ago for her. It was only for like a year. Then I stopped. Then it did like a, 
during the time that we were having kids, like, I don't know, I just got into like lifting instead, you know, weights. Morning. Good morning. Activity is good for health, period. There's a lot of research getting steps in your health, walking and eight to 10,000 steps in per day. Amount of comorbidities like heart disease, diabetes, you know, stress, anxiety, everything goes down by more than 50%. Kind of the best thing for, for health is just like, you know, walking. And if you can't run it, let me attach a goal to this so I, you know, can commit, you know. So that's when I did uh, half marathon. And September. Hold up, you already ran half a marathon? This whole time, I thought he was training for his first half marathon. What did I get myself into? <laughs> Dude, I was like praying that I could get 15 minutes a mile or something. <laughs> but now, like six months later, I'm like, okay. So my body's built up some level of conditioning, you know? So I think you just continue to build on it. That's what it is. It's good. Yeah. Morning. I just found well, running as my outlet. Outlet, right? Yeah. Hardships and trials? Yes, sir. Yeah, I got you, man. Like this hard, brother. My wife um, has had like a, ever since our son was born. Yeah. He's three now. Wow. <laughs> Ever since our son was born, who's our second, um, she had a lot of health complications after him. You know, it's been very hard, like living life, you know, and just right. a lot of hardships. But dude, running and physical activity just helps to let a lot of that stress out, you know. So here we are at Buffalo Bayou Park. So behind me you have the Houston skyline, to the right you have a bike rental area. In front of me you're able to take uh, restroom breaks and a nice place to hang out. And if you notice there's a police car, they're blocking the road because that day there was an actual race going on. but. During this time, we took a little one minute break and I wanted to explore a little bit because I haven't been on this side of Buffalo Bayou Park. So here are some shots that I took. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, that's why if I go running on the it, this is somewhere nice. Man. This is one of the only spots in Houston because it's a bayou. That's yeah. not flat. We're going to run down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this will bring us all the way back to Wall, which is, you know, where we park our cars. We don't have to go there, but it'll bring you to that street. Yeah, at night, it's nice to walk here. It's all lit up. Well, it's good you live uh, close by. Yeah. I mean, I guess on a long run, I could technically run here. I just, you know, we're Houstonians. We drive everywhere. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a park, like, right in our neighborhood. So I was like, I, like, literally run there, but I still drive. You still drive, right? <laughs> Even though, like, the park is like half a mile. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Because yeah. I know, like, after the run, you're going to be burnt, burnt out already. We have such a car culture yeah. in Texas, you know, that uh, we just drive everywhere. Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't have no traffic on the way here. Really? Bro. Have you found any, like, running injuries or whatever? Uh, how about yourself? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, right? Actually, outside of my cousins, you're the only person I'm running with. Really? Yeah. <laughs> On a Thursday, I ran with my stepsister, Ivy. Okay. She just started. She did good. We ran two miles and a half. She really pushed it. That's good. Do you lift weights? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I always have to lift weights. Yeah. There you go. That's good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've never done lower half like day in maybe a couple of years. So I'm like... I thought my knees popping. I'm like, dude, okay, I gotta start working out. <laughs> but I feel like a little nick and nag. Yeah. I try to get it out at the gym. There you go. It it gets it out though. Yeah, it does. It does. You get the it blood gets it out. out. Before I used to worry like, oh, what about next day I run? But I now I, I, I remember the experience. Yeah. Feels good. Feels good. I mean, uh, Steph Curry works out before and after again. Like he lifts weights. Before and after games. Are you uh, still doing nursing? Yeah, bro. How many years now? How long have I known you? <laughs> uh, wow. That long? Maybe. Whoa. 2008, 2009, something like that. No, I think I met you before, but yeah. not much longer after. Yeah. Good, bro. How you? Yeah, how did you do? Like during the pandemic? Pandemic. So we had our son during the pandemic, 2020. But um, what? Like for work or whatever? Yeah. I mean, he's got always had a job, you know. Um, always. There's a lot of people who lost their jobs, right? Yeah. So he's got always. Had an income, had a job, because that's healthcare, right? With healthcare doesn't stop for a pandemic. Yep. And my wife, well, no, she she works, but she doesn't work full time anymore. Really help take care of the kids, you know. But uh, just made it by God's grace, you know. No other way. <laughs> How about you? How did you do during the pandemic? Well, just like a lot of small business, we struggle. Yeah, man. Trials often don't make sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> what business was this, by the way? Dry cleaner. Okay. So, yeah. But things are better now. Okay. But y'all just sold this business, right? Yes. Okay. So do you have any work right now? Still at the dry cleaner because uh, at the end of this month, the new owner will take over there. I gotcha. But after this month, we're good. You don't have a no. You don't own anything, right? And now. that's the thing that you know. Sometimes we, we ask ourselves like, "What's next?" That's right. But we just gotta put our trade, our faith in God. That's right. During these times, count it all joy, my brothers. That's right. And you meet trials of various kinds where you know the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect so that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing and that's hard <laughs> that's not easy when you're asking questions like what's next or where what now <laughs> but got to Trust in the Lord. How are you feeling? You feeling okay? Yeah. Good. 
Did you bring some gels with you? Oh, no. You just you're gonna cowboy it all the way. <laughs> Show it. Got it, brother. Were you into running yet last summer? No, I started in October. Okay. So, so it's only been a few months. So running in the summer, even during the morning, sucks. Dude, my, I have to drink so much Gatorade, Powerade water. I don't know about you, but I sweat a lot when I work out. Yeah. And my clothes, my shorts, if I do like a 10 mile, it's like I took a shower. So running in, because there's so much humidity, whatever, you know? How you feeling? Oh, good, man, feeling strong. Definitely got to do some calf, quad workouts, feet. You do any uh, ankle mobility or anything like that? Not right now. <laughs> I need to, though. A little hill here. During training, I like uh, doing sprints up the hill. Oh, uh, yeah. The pressure on your shoulders. Yeah. Oh, uh, mile six. <laughs> <laughs> you already did a 10K, man. I wasn't sure how I felt like when we originally set up the date. Yeah. Kind of glad it got pushed back. I was able to recover the race. How many times do you run during a week? I try different methods, like five times a week, okay. three times a week. I prefer three. I just do three, to be honest. I try and run one to two miles in the middle of the week, and then my long run saturday that's probably not the best way how to train but i just sometimes and that's the only time you have you just get it in but did you know you were ready for the half marathon nothing i signed up for it and gave me a good amount of time to just get the miles in um, I Just finished nine miles and a quarter. And uh, <sighs> mentioned earlier, man, it's a lot easier when you're running with someone. And yeah, man, if you guys uh you guys need uh someone to pace with, you know, reach out. Friends, family. You guys got my number. Uh, we all got to start somewhere. So uh, I'm just, I'm just shocked. I didn't think I would hit nine miles this soon. Uh, I think, I thank my brother Daniel for that, man. Uh, we helped face each other. I mean, it was good, man. It was good. It was good seeing my brother, man. He's a, uh, just sharing stories with each other. You know, there's some things, you know, I want to keep private. Uh, and I felt, I felt like it's necessary, like, you know, off camera, on camera, you know, you gotta have time, uh, you know, for your buddies, you know, like, I, I hope Daniel, man, brother, you, you finished that half marathon strong. If we're able to run again, you know, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> nine miles, man. Like, like, wow. That's insane. Our glory to Jesus Christ, man. My Lord and Savior. And, uh, yeah, God bless you all. And, uh, 
Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Click the button. Um, and I love you guys. When I fuel up with after nine miles, steak, and rice. I normally just get a scoop. I've never run nine miles, so I'm a carb up pretty well. Iced coffee as well. It's really good being around other people that are like minded. Not wants to run. Yeah, this is good. The thing about after that many miles, you're hungry, but a part of you don't want to eat it. So you feel like. Man, you're looking at this like how do you how do you finish all this i remind myself man recovery is important if you don't feel, feel up appropriately <laughs> you're not gonna last long this game. so yeah i remind myself even though i don't feel like eating this much i know i'm hungry but i just block it especially when you're and some fun. She cooks so good. It's easy to finish the food. If you guys made it to the end, I appreciate it. Shout out to my 19 subscribers. I'm very ec ecstatic at my progress right now. To go from 10k to 15k in two weeks, that really excites me. Like, give me all the more confidence that I can do a half marathon. I don't know what's next, but I'm going to continue to train, continue to be ready, and when that time's come to hit that half marathon, I'll be ready.